sure. It's what they give people like in solitary confinement. If they're not eating their food, they force feed them insure. Which is kind of dark. <laughs> Just like you see in sure, it's like, oh wow. That's what, uh, that's what that is. That. Yeah, well now you know. The more you know. Also, we'll put a link to, uh, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an article, some real journalism about um, honey buns in prison. Oh, that's really a great good. article. Yeah. You guys will love that. If you like this kind of stuff. <laughs> Whatever this is. If you like this, you'd like that. I think. Definitely like that. If you like this. It's pretty Whatever good. It well, it's really delightful. I think I read like a very similar article that was like a terrifying version of that. Huh. Where it was just like corporations are actually exploiting prisoners by sen- selling them extremely overpriced goods. There is that. And like exploiting their labor and paying them <laughs> nothing. Yeah, it's no, the, basically modern slavery. The prison uh, commissary system is is quite interesting. You can read up on it. Uh, yes, sometimes it's called the plantation of the twenty first century. Um, yeah. The U S. actually has like the highest incarcerated population in the world of any country. It does. Which is pretty insane. Yeah. But. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that hair dryer fell. But Canada has the number one ginger ale population. Yeah. It's actually perfect in Canada, in fact. Everything is fine in Canada. Uh, it's pretty good. And it's wine. That's why we're drinking this today. So here's to Canada. Here's to Canada. And uh, to honey buns. 